What's cracking YouTube? It's your boy, back again with another reaction. We got the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Denver Nuggets. I'm not excited about this game. I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of blue. Uh, it be in booty. Bro, you could have played. I'm not gonna lie. They teased this shit. I was excited for this game. In B. Then before the game, at 3 o'clock before the game, I checked to see who was going to be out. I had to make sure M. Booty was not out because I didn't see no notifications. Underdog never, Underdog never tweeted that he was out. Went to the NBA site, seen Maxi and Tobias was out. Then I'm like, all right, okay. So it's just going to be NB one-man show. It is what it is. Who cares? We just got to go out there and get a W against a B. You know what I'm saying? I want to see that Jokic and B showdown. You feel me? 10 minutes. When I say 10 minutes before the game starts, the game usually starts 340. If, if it says the game starts at 530, the game going to start at 540. So 10 minutes, not even 10 minutes before the game starts. Exactly when the game was supposedly supposed to start from the start date that they show on NBA website, and B was announced out. And B was announced out the game once they announced the teams. Basically, that's them there. The the ten minutes going into the game after three five thirty, teams are getting announced. Players are getting announced. The starters. Embiid was announced out by Wolves. I don't know how to feel. I, I really want to see a, a good game. This is Rivals Week. Uh, I'm kind of let down. Then this game was lackluster for us. Feel me? We let a lot of bullshit slide, man. But we got to check it out. But before we do, man, I need y'all to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. For these daily bankers game. Longer than you wanted to. I've been I'll MIA for a couple days. One day I had to just do a bunch of schoolwork. And then yesterday, was gonna go against my the sister had roster. company over. Nick Nurse joked with us before. It was like five people in my house. More minutes. He's gonna and I couldn't tonight. be over here screaming about triple. Devin Booker and Luca. God damn it. Them boys, Luca had 70. Booker had 60. Who else? Booker had 60 and lost. That's sad. Somebody else was hooping last night. I forgot who it was. But those were the two most polarizing games last night. Cash money. It's always, bro. I swear, everybody be having good games when I can't record. That is sad. I think Embiid had 70. When we had company over too, ain't that some bullshit? Give it up, hey! I ain't gonna lie, Nick Nurse. The Sixers play hard. I like that. They they play hard. All game, they don't give a fuck. This is what I didn't like. This motherfucker, Paul Reed. Shout out to Paul Reed. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker hit. Like, three or four straight jump shots. He hit that first one on Jokic. Jokic gets pulled, put DJ in. He hits, like, three of them on DJ. And I'm like, bro, is this what we doing right now? Is this what we, what the fuck we doing right now? We just going to let Paul Reed just hit all, all jump shots on this? Like, he had fucking 30 tonight. When has Paul Reed ever had 30 in his life? Like, this is some bullshit. I'm not going to lie. Paul Reed. Is it a, that's a pretty shot we let Paul Jay. Reed cook us, bro. This shit is embarrassing. Kelly Oubre, 25 points. KCP forgot how to shoot a fucking basketball. Sad. Pathetic. I don't know how many fucking wide open shots KCP can get. Yo, get you. <laughs> and Murray set him up so fucking much. I don't understand how he just doinks every fucking jump shot. It doesn't. It makes absolutely no fucking sense. It absolutely makes no sense. Can somebody explain to me? Can, can somebody explain to me? Am I seeing shit that ain't there? My nigga was two, three for eight from the field. Two for eight. I gave him an extra bucket. This motherfucker was two for eight. Look at this shit. We letting shit like this happen to us. I get that we was anticipating an MB Jokic showdown. 
Jaden Springer. But that's the time where we gotta annihilate these weak ass niggas, man. Martin the rebound. Here comes Beverly. Beverly with pace, leading But that's hard to do with your team. Patrick Beverly already a season Shoot straight doinkers. Straight doinkers. We was blinking that motherfucker like we in honest. You feel me? This one, did he just get his own fucking rebound? Three niggas in the paint, he got his own fucking rebound? Fuck out of here, man. This is why I don't really give a fuck about this game. Once it beat was out, I did give a fuck. Did not watch how these motherfuckers was playing. Still didn't give a fuck. Still didn't give a fuck. But since it's my nuggets, I'm going to react to it. Look at this weak ass defense. Y'all double team. Nicholas Batoon in the corner. Nobody gives a fuck about him shooting his two three pointers a game. Fuck. to shoot Beverly through the lane flips it in the seas parted and Pat Bev took advantage yeah if Denver was taking Pat Bev 17 and 11 now, this nigga man this shot buries the three. Plus the Murray can hit all the jump shots he wants this motherfucker can't Beverly make a free throw going through traffic Reed Blink three free throws Aaron Gordon can't make free throws Jokic can't make free throws to shoot for 10 for Jokic. 16 63 percent I I don't know what to pay Watson can't make free throws we've been to this third option Porter Jokic left alone sure Morris that time. Oh, what like, a <laughs> Murray, what the fuck are you doing? Morris. Murray, Murray, KCP dropped. Morris. That's KCP did the right thing. He dropped. Jokic came over. Murray just let like he turned his body and just watched him just fucking go right to the basket. Look at this shit. Morris. Murray, what are you doing? Not that time. Oh, what a putback. Crab dribbling down. Loading to the corner. Jokic comes free and flips it in. 16 points, 10 mm. rebounds, 6 assists. Cork Maz. I don't know. This can't be worse than the Brooklyn Nets. You know what I'm saying? Losing a 28 point lead and only winning by two. See, this shit I be talking about. Cork Maz. Not that time. Cork Maz almost hit two back to back ugly ass threes. Look at this dumb shit. Well, and, it, and it's even and put this more, if you're, in this if you're shit, Coach bro. Malone, it's probably even more frustrating if you see Michael Porter Jr. knock down the three. I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm i speechless, bro. This is an embarrassing game. Get a three from there in the third. It's a W, but this is an embarrassing good. W. We just let a team full of role players Porter, that time attacks the closeout. keep up with us. Like, this is fucking embarrassing. Marquise Morris was about to be out the fucking lead. Here's Beverly evading Brown. He was on the Clippers and motherfuckers was saying he doesn't deserve to be in the NBA. Is at 25, he averages 13. And we get him cooked. Elevation. If you don't play 35 minutes a night and you get Kelly Oubre. See, bro, this is the shit I be talking about. We got more, like we got the most randomest motherfuckers going off against us. We got Kelly Oubre who lies about getting in a car crash. When he actually got beat up, how how you get how you get hit by a car on a bike and a bike not fucked up? I'm still on that. I'm still on that. This this game's pissing me off. Now I'm going. I'm I'm confused. Markeith Morris is barely supposed to be in the fucking league. He was barely supposed to be in the league, bro. Paul Reed barely gets PT. Well, now he gets PT, but his most of his career he barely get PT. He had thirty, bro. What the fuck are we doing? Patrick fucking Beverly, the motherfucker who said he went crazy against Fred Van Vliet when he only had nine points. Is This is the shit, this is the shit that I be talking about with the Nuggets, bro. Long, long game. It's like, okay, it's cool. Game or two. We coasted. That's what we want to say. It but a team full of role players like this is not coasting. We trying our fucking damnedest to beat to win this game. This is not coasting, my nigga. I'm just kidding the bean. This is not coasting. If you gotta put a hundred and twenty thousand percent into the game, it's not coasting, man. It's not. I'm sorry. 
I'm not gonna bite my tongue and be like, we gotta win because I'm a Nuggets fan. Fuck that. If we're supposed to be a championship caliber team and we going to the fucking wire with a team full of washed role players, it's absolutely and fucking embarrassing. Woeful from the line. 20 for 34. Six point game. Read a three. Turn this shit off. Turn this shit off. I can't wait. Can I put this bitch in two times speed? Can I put this bitch in two times speed? Come on, Chad. Game over. Game over, Chad. Game over, Chad. Game over, Chad. We won. This shit is embarrassing. As a Nuggets fan, this is embarrassing to watch. Absolutely embarrassing, bro. I can't be... These motherfuckers celebrating hands up. What the fuck are we... Bro, we just went down to the wire with role players. Patrick Beverly. He, he's a... Bro, can we keep it a B? Patrick Beverly, what he just did tonight is not him, bro. 17 and 11. When have you ever heard Patrick Beverly do some shit like that in the years before? When he was on the Timberwolves, he didn't do this shit. When he was on the Bulls, he didn't do this shit. Barely when he was on the motherfucking Rockets, he didn't do this shit. And he does it to us, bro. Us. We're not coasting. This is not a coasting game. This is not a coasting game. You're supposed to put your fucking foot on their necks and whoop that ass. It's Rivals Week, and you let a bunch of fucking role players come up in here and act like they was the hottest shit since sliced bread. My nigga. Markeith Morris. What's this? It's Marcus? This is Marcus Morris. Marcus Morris is supposed to be out the league last year. They want to release him. They want to get rid of him at any cost, bro. Any cost, bro. And this motherfucker has 17, like... Chat, chat, I'm making this video longer, being mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm just keeping it being Kelly Oubre, bro. I fuck with you. I fuck with you. But you know what I'm saying? Every time I see you, I'm going to bring up the fact how you get run over by a car on a bike and the bike's not damaged. I'm going to just keep saying that. But YouTube, I'm out of here. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to catch y'all boys on the flip. This is terrible.